In this and the next two videos that follow, we're going to consider what engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis in each of the different disciplines that make up Eng 1001. So let's start with civil engineering. What is it that civil engineers do? Civil engineers design, build and maintain the infrastructure which supports our way of life. Our cities and all the elements that support our cities and regional towns, including the transportation systems, water systems and the infrastructure which supports our power systems. A civil engineer was first described as such to distinguish them from military engineers. And the first Institute of Civil Engineers was founded in England in 1818. Civil engineers work with a variety of non-engineers, architects, town planners, community representatives, lawyers and bankers to ensure that the projects they are completing will have the greatest benefit for the community. Civil engineering has a number of sub-disciplines. Structural engineering, specialising in the field of designing and constructing buildings and other large structures. Water engineering, specialising in providing clean drinking water, maintaining adequate sewerage and maintaining clean waterways for the environment and for transportation. Transport engineers focus on the design and maintenance of our road and railways, ensuring that our traffic systems allow as an efficient flow of traffic as possible. Much of the large-scale structures that civil engineers design and build is dependent on the type of soil and bedrock upon which it is built. Geotechnical engineers are responsible for understanding how different soil and rock types will respond, and they are also responsible for monitoring and maintaining our mineral resources. Environmental engineers look at all aspects of engineering, with a special focus on the impact that the engineering will have on the environment. Their role is to minimise this impact, ensuring that the engineering needs of the community are met with the minimum amount of environmental degradation. Mining engineering is particularly important in Australia, where mining accounts for a sizeable proportion of our exports. Mining engineers are responsible for the design and safe operation of large-scale mines throughout the country and overseas. In this subject, in the first few weeks, you will be focusing on structural engineer, and you'll understand a bit more about what they do. A structural engineer creates structures which are safe, economical, and practical to construct. Structural engineers typically work closely with architects, developing a variety of buildings, bridges, canals, and other infrastructure which are designed for the end user, that is, the community. They also apply mathematics and scientific theories to ensure the structures are safe and are designed with appropriate materials. The day-to-day -day process of being a structural engineer often starts with a request and detailed requirements of a particular project, and this would originate from architects, artists or city planners. Working with the community representatives, structural engineers will develop a concept design for approval by a variety of people, often including the community at large. Once this has been approved, structural engineers work to create a detailed design. This detailed design includes load calculations, which model forces that will act on the building, ensuring that the building will be able to withstand these forces. And often this requires detailed structural modeling and analysis, particularly for moving loads, such as people or vehicles, but also for environmental loads, such as wind loading. Structural engineers will be responsible for choosing the size and profile of the materials that provide the structural strength of the building, and also will need to provide construction drawings and specifications for these, which will then be used by builders in the final construction. As part of your first Spaghetti Trust Bridge project in the first few weeks of this semester, you'll be working through this process. We spoke briefly about structural analysis, and it's easy to imagine that this is a purely mathematical exercise. However, structural engineers also need to make sure that the design is efficient in terms of the amount of material it uses and the type of material that it uses. They need to ensure that it's economic to construct and meets the needs of the end user. So structural analysis does have the mathematical aspect, but also has a qualitative understanding of why the buildings need to be constructed and how they intend to be used, and also how much it will cost to construct them. 